You know, youngster J.W. Hart is making his presence known on the Bud Light PBR Tour this year, competing head-to-head -head with the veterans of the sport and coming out a winner. Pam Minnick chatted with J.W. in this PBR profile. Being the youngest rider on the PBR Tour is nothing new to 19-year-old J.W. Hart. At an early age, this young cowboy caught the eye of legends like Donnie Gay and Lane Frost, who became his instructor and friend. I started out in the steer riding, and I rode a couple of steers, and he said I didn't need to bother with steers. I need to go with the junior bulls. So uh, at a two-day school, I think I wound up getting on 12 or 13 bulls. I, I stayed busy. I just wanted to ride in front of Lane Frost, I guess. In fact, J.W. often rides in a pair of Lane's old shaps that are a prized possession. Lane was the best. Uh, and his attitude towards people and rodeo itself was just phenomenal. J.W. was just 14 when he started entering bull ridings against the pros. He overcame the intimidation of competing against Tuff Hedeman, Clint Bronger, and Jim Sharp, and began riding and winning. But in this dangerous sport, injuries are inevitable. In Charlotte, the bull stepped all over J.W., but he dusted off and rode his next bull for a big check. I've had more than my fair share of injuries, I think. Seems like every time I turn, it's the first year I really stayed halfway healthy. Uh, every time I turn around, it seems like I was getting hurt. I was, broke my jaw, I broke ribs, I broke my arm. I've knocked out teeth. It just never seems to end, but this year's been real good to me. It has been a good year for J.W., with over $60,000 won, including back-to-back first-place finishes. But J.W. Hart is looking forward to the future. There's no telling for people my age and uh, younger. Tough and these older guys are setting things up so good for the younger generation of bull riders. Uh, I hope my future holds a, maybe a PBR world title or a PRCA world title, I hope. It could happen, Don well, it sure could. You know, I mean, the, the guy has come back from some incredible injuries. He broke his neck. You know, he didn't even talk about that. And uh, he said, oh, he said, really wasn't all that bad. You know, I had some tingling in my arms and my legs. But other than that, I was all right, really. <laughs>